How's it going everyone? Welcome to My First Nursery's YouTube channel where we're going to have a look at the Baby Mama Macadamia 360 car seat. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, let's get this thing out of the box and have a look at what we got. Okay, so inside the box you get a nice little instruction manual as well as some Isofix cover plates as well for your car. Uh, that tells you everything you need to know or how to install the, the seat and you know when to uh, adjust it to different heights of your child and different age groups as well. Because like I said, this goes from a zero all the way up until 12 years. So you can use it right from newborn all the way up until 12 years with this uh, 360 car seat, which is what makes it really, really good value for money. Let's have a look at the features and how easy it is to adjust. Now the Macadamia 360, as mentioned before, is great because it can go from newborn all the way up until 12 years. And inside the instruction manual, it's got a really handy guide of when it tells you to do that. And it kind of based off height uh, as well as age. So you've got 40 to 105 centimeters, which where you've got the newborn, where you get these nice padding already in there and you can go from newborn, so straight from the hospital to home, you can just leave it as it is and it'll be perfect for the newborn child and then when your child gets to about 76 to 105 centimeters you can actually remove that inlay and then you can use this one here uh, where the uh, baby will, head will rest there instead giving it a bit more breathing room a bit more freedom to move around um, and then you, you'll be able to switch it from rear facing to front facing and then the last one would be to 100 centimeters to 135 centimeters which is right up to a school age so that's 3 to 12 years old and then you can use the seat belt um, instead of using these because these will probably be a bit too tight for you so let's have a look at how they adjust so we've got these straps in here already and the straps are uh, are a double buckle so if you open that up you can see that the straps have got two separate latches and you just piece them together like a jigsaw and then you just plug it straight into there really really easy to do and if you want to tighten it you just pull on this little uh, tab here and it tightens up the straps just like that and if you want to loosen it you just need to press this button press and hold give a tug on the actual straps and then they'll start to come loose and then you've got that play back in there as well okay so if you do want to actually use it uh, on the 360 motor right now it's on the forward facing that's how it comes out of the box but as you can see here um, there's a little uh, pull tab which is really easy to use so all you need to do is pull that tab and then you can just move it with one hand look at that that's 360 mode there and you can have it completely rear facing let go of the tab and then it'll uh, go back into its locking position which is really really easy to do so if you want to just flip it around you know imagine your car seats that a car doors there put the baby in and then you know put it into its right position makes life a hell of a lot easier i can tell you that as well now if you want to recline the seat you've actually got three different options for your recline which is really really good so there's a little lever at the center here just below the uh, where the uh, thighs would go and then as you can see here there's a little arrow which points to one two three that's your different reclining positions and all you need to do is pull on that tab and then it'll loosen as you can see and then you can change the amount of recline you have on the seat which can go all the way down to the third option Option, which is the most reclined position which is really really good and uh, the recline also is uh, suitable to be used in 360 mode as well so you know once you've got that uh, rear facing style that's how much the recline would be which is great to see that as well because some seats that are on the market you can't actually do that with so that's really really good let's have a look at how the ISO fix would work let me just put this back to um, its normal position now here you can see there's a little tab uh, push button there and that's where the isofix lock is so if i just flip this upside down so you can have a better idea so there's that little button there all you need to do is push that and then you can pull it forwards like so and then it releases the isofix and puts it in the a forward position then you can pull out the actual um uh, it's like the support beam that goes on the actual floor of the uh, your car and you can actually extend this by a button which is located on the inside and then put it as tall as however you need and tighten it up so you get a good firm grip on the uh, base of your car floor there and then you can really easily push the button push that down and there you go it's back to normal if you ever wanted to remove it 
while we're here as well, it's probably worth you showing you where the Isofix uh, brackets are. So you've got these little uh, uh, push button things here and you just gotta clamp them together. And as you can see, the red safety goes off and then you can slide it forward and back really, really easily. And that just locks straight into your Isofix point on your car. So it's dead straightforward. Anyone can do it, it's not hard to do. Um, so uh, I'll just show you how that's gonna work in the car in a moment. Now one thing I really do want to point out is the fact that these uh, padding is absolutely amazing for long journeys. What we've got here is a very plush padding, breathable fabrics, so the car seat is really comfortable for your baby or child on a really long journeys. You've also got like a memory foam uh, headrest there and it kind of, as you push against it, it slowly pushes back. So it makes you really comfortable for those long journeys where your child's in there. The car seat has also been intelligently designed with an ergonomic airflow ventilation system as well, which is passive to allow the baby to keep cool while in the car seat the whole time as well. And you've got yourself here a little pull tab, which is an adjustable headrest, so you can change the height or, uh, of the uh, the back headrest there, depending on where your child's head would land on the seat as they get older. Now let's head over to the car and see what this thing is like when it's actually fitted inside with the Isofix mounting points. And I'll see if I can coerce my son to do a demo for us as well. All right, folks, so we're in front of the car now and we're just gonna put the car seat in. So what you wanna do is make sure you have the Isofix uh, anchors fully pulled out so you get ready to push them in. So let's have a look. So now you can see it just how easy it is to use the 360 mode just by pulling on that lever and twisting it. Like that. And then it's easy to put the cheeky monkey in and take him out. So we're gonna do that and get my son and see if he's willing to cooperate. All right, so here's the baby. You gotta get the baby. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. You're showing off. Right, you come here, you get the monkey, you put the monkey inside the seat. Then you just get these straps. <laughs> I know, new car seat, cool, isn't it? Put them up there. And as you can see, you've got these bits here that kind of bulk tool together there. Whiz them in there, and then you just tighten the straps with this. Now it's all good, and you just got to spin them around. Well, it would be in the uh, reverse facing like that. And then if you obviously he's old enough to spin around to the forward facing, got him like that. There you go. All right, this product testing done. Come on, let's take you out. Loosen the straps. Pull it out like that. I know I'm taking you out now. Come. All right, there we go. There we go. Come. Ah. That pretty much wraps up the video guys. If you have any questions, please drop us a comment in the comment box below and drop us a like and subscribe if you find the video useful because it really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.